become like an evangelist now to spread the good news. Do you know one person who was healed and when they asked, how, how, how did he do it? He said, whatever he did, I don't know. But what I know, I'm healed. I'm healed. <laughs> <laughs> whatever he did, I don't know. What I know, he has healed me. Look at that kind of faith. Are you seeing that? Yes. They never kept quiet. They went out. Now, what is a challenge to us too? What we have believed in Christ. What we have put in faith in Him. Let's share our faith to other people out there. Are you seeing that? I know many people say, they are hard. They don't listen. They cannot come. It is not your work to draw them to God. No. Mm. Let me tell you this. It is not your work. Your work is to do what? To share. share. How many people plant dry beans or plant maize or plant something at home in their gardens? What a small or big garden? How many people plant? We plant. Mm. Your work is to do what? Do it. Are you sure? Your work is to do what? Plant. You plant, you keep quiet. You wait for the weeding. Mm. But are you the one who will make it grow? No. Do you know even the process no. that God works with the soil and causes it to break up? And then you can imagine the seed to break the earth. You have done the whole cover. It will break the earth and it will put and it comes out. Why are you there? For, us to wait for, for you to plant and wait. Will you command God to bring the rain? No. For you to plant and just ah. And then your work is either to complain or to appreciate. No rain today. <laughs> it's God. Oh, it was a prayer. All of that. Okay, it rains. When it rains, you don't know how God works it out for this crop to come up. Mm. And then when it reaches some size, your work is to weed. After weeding, you are going to snow and sleep. The rest is for God. And at the end of the day, your work is to do what? Come and harvest, rejoicing and praising the Lord. Either you give the, the time or you appreciate God or not, your work is to eat. What is the Oh, sir. So our work is to share the gospel. The rest belongs to who? God. I've had people complain and say, today I preach in this village, but no one even came to Christ. Oh, you want the numbers. But God is not after that. He knows when this person will come to Christ. Are you that? He knows. Even the work we have done with the people who drink around the other corner there, it's not my work. Fool them. My work is to share with them the gospel. That's it. It's God to know when to convict them and draw them himself and child. But my work is to do what? To share the gospel. Our work is to do what? To share the gospel. Are you seeing that? Yes. <coughs> Remember, healing comes by what? Faith. <coughs> Number two, believe in him. Believe in who? Jesus Christ. The honor. Amen. Amen. Yes. Don't look for these preachers around who deceive you. And those kind of preachers, they want every Sunday miracles, every Sunday miracles. By the way, miracles are not every day, every day, every day. And miracles will happen with the purpose to draw the unbelievers to the saving grace, to cause them to know who God is. Are you seeing that? It's not even for the believers here. It's for non-believers out there. So then they can understand, oh, God can do this. Then they are drawn here to understand the will of God. Mm -hmm. How many people have done fishing? With the hooks. You have ever done with the hooks? You have ever done that? Yes. Now, that hook, where, and then you put the what? The worm. You done it. You get your 10 fish, you are put in the basket. Now, is this a hook for again for this fish? Or the hook remains for the two fish not caught? <laughs> yes. The other one. Are you seeing that? You can how do people look at you? You have got 10 fish here. Now you are putting the hook here. And you're hooking them. <laughs> are you seeing that? TikTok. <laughs> The hook should be for the other ones which are not caught. Mm. The net should be for the other ones, not this ones. Now the miracles should be for them, please.
believers out there so that they can be hooked, be drawn to know who Jesus is. And when you are here, no more for us that. Those miracles we want people to see, to see, to see. Here we are learning the word of God. We will be rooted in the word of God. Yes, God can heal us according to his will. Even when we are here, that's good. But for us here, you should not be looking for those miracles, miracles of physical. Every time you're running from church to church, miracles, 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 miracles. What should we look for? In case I'm to look for, in fact, for me, in case I'm to look for something in the churches, I look for a church that teaches the biblical truth. Truth. That's it. Yeah. Not miracles. Because miracles, even the witch doctor will want miracles. Even that who is not believe, just just about to be healed. Ah. And that's why I don't trust and believe those crusades where people come and pray. They I'm, I'm now. They just come emotionally. But not bad to pray to cause them to know the gospel. But tell me that 10,000 people go save during the crusade. Oh. I have questions with you. Are you saying that? Yes. I believe the door to door. Evangelism, face-to-face -face evangelism. Sometimes I call it face-to-face -face evangelism. We interact. Somebody asks me a question, who is Jesus? Yes. I share with him who Jesus is. It doesn't matter, I take the whole day with him, only him. Until he understands. I explain to him. If he has not understood, we can make a point for another day. Until I win him to the saving grace. I get that? That just rush with the number of people that have come, they have come, they have come, they have, come, they have many, they have many, but they, they do not know who Jesus is. But what they know, they want the, the physical needs to be met. Now, let's not come to church for the physical needs to be met, but let's come to church where we learn the true gospel for the purpose of gaining the eternal life. Amen? Amen. Mm. Eternal life. Let me pray. Father in heaven, thank you for speaking to us this morning. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you, Lord, for performing miracles for the glory of your name. And Lord, here we are. Help us to be rooted in your word. Many, many false preachers, miracle teachers, and other teachers are preaching about miracles, but not the true gospel. Father, how I pray that Lord may help us to be rooted in the word of God. And we look, we seek your kingdom first. I do not be one of the things. Father, you are so blessed to us. Father, at this moment, as we are going back home, we pray that Lord may lead us, guide us for the glory of your name. Provide us what, with what we need back home. Help us, O oh God. Let the peace that comes from you fill, fill our hearts. And the love that comes from you fill us with the joy. Help us rejoice in you, even when the situations are hard. Help us always be happy even when the situation dictates us not to be happy. Thank you so much, O oh Lord. The only is in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.